culture is incredible. Like the more that we can learn from each other and the more we can realize that like we're all different, but like we have similar viewpoints, we have similar issues, we have similar problems. I think that that is what will create this ability for us as a collective to start to think in better ways about like culture, better ways about, you know, our countries, better ways about how we can develop, you know, a peacefulness between people, uh, relations between one another. Like we have to stop leaning on the people that we think are the heads of these countries and start taking ownership for ourselves to realize that like we are the reason why these things are here. So I know that it's easy to look at the top and think like, that's the power that be and that represents everybody but in all actuality it's all the little parts that make up the whole that really is what creates the beauty of this planet so i'm i'm all about like just people getting together experiencing different customs different cultures and like hopefully like maybe then we can start to talk about like how, how we can develop like real peace like we can learn from each other and like that's the beauty of like I mean, that's really the gift that I've had of being raised in the U.S. is even though, you know, there is there is these divides, I've also been exposed to, like, a lot of different cultures. So I feel like, and then it makes me want to travel to these other cultures and, like, really experience it. So, um, yeah, it's it's definitely beautiful. I, I do like to be with people. Like, that that's true, and um, people are good people are good and the planet is good and life is good and more life and more love and more peace and more happiness that's that's my ode <laughs> if i were to have an ode or anything that like i could contribute to this planet <laughs> it would be peace happiness love and positivity like just for everybody as much as possible like even when there's suffering and even when there's hardship like just peace like please peace i think that one of the things that i had difficulty with in my path of starting to connect with my true self or being who i am was like i was always afraid of like well how would other people perceive me are they gonna like the gifts that i'm putting out there and like the truth is is like we don't necessarily control these gifts that move through us so instead of thinking that um you know like should i express this gift or should i not express this gift just be you like at the end of the day we don't there may not be too many opportunities to be an authentic version of yourself so like it's better that you do it and it and for instance if somebody's not receptive to your energy don't show hate to that person don't don't like give them back the energy that they're putting out there just respectfully know that like there's something blocking them and like but yet still like move in the direction that's your creativity so don't be afraid if your creativity brings you somewhere else like the united states or something and you're just like you're just trying to feel like how can i be the most authentic expression of who i am you know and it's different for everybody so um i just i think we all have it and i think that I think it's good. I think that being I think that being your creativity, being your focus, being your expression, um, it can allow for you to dissolve so much of whatever you feel is is creating a separation for you in your life. I just know how fortunate I am because like there are there is in this world right now in this very point in time like so much suffering is going on like maybe as a collective through sharing these messages like we could come together whether whether it's here in the u.s whether it's in belarus and people may be suffering there whether it's in places like syria israel jordan whether it's places in africa like I think that the only way we can begin to diffuse these sufferings is if we begin to realize that like we need to all come together as like a human race, not as separate beings, but like as a human race and realize like what can we all do to grow each other so that we can like not be focused on the things that like are causing us to feel down in life. Um, because you can waste a lot of time focusing on things that are not positive for you or that are not moving you in a direction that you can that you can just feel okay with yourself you know wherever you're at so um 
I am grateful and it is it has taken me a long time to just like even talk you know in an authentic way or like express this stuff but I think that um, I think that the more everybody does it I think that hopefully as people like we can connect with people in these other countries and like actually develop a global community where like if you just are not feeling like yourself where you're at people could support you from everywhere in the world <laughs> and they can just support you and be like do what you want to do like don't be afraid and especially if you're in like a repressed place or you're scared because like people around you are not allowing for you to feel like you can be yourself like you need a support system and there are people around the world that want to support you and they want to believe in whatever your gifts are so i think that because that's important for me like i want people to know like it is i need a support community like we all do i think that we all do so thinking that like you're separate and thinking that you're the only one you're the only one on this planet that you know that is going through what you're going through right now like you're not a lot of people are going through a lot of stuff that they want to move through so like having support having community having friendship having people that they support you whether you want to be around people or they support you if like you just want to you know be by yourself and creative for a while like that's what true community is like a true community is a is a group of people that has all different interests they have all different expressions and yet they come together and they all support each other in their unique individual ways so let's try as as best as we can as humans to start deconstructing these things that create these separations that make us feel like oh people in this culture are like this or people in this culture are like this and like let's start to get to the point where like what is it that we really need to work on or what is it that like how can i support you like what is it that i can do for you in order for you to feel like you can take that leap forward and then like that's the same thing that allows for me to take that leap forward that's the funniest part about it like the expression that helps you is also the expression that helps me or that helps somebody else so that's the world that i'm trying to create here i don't know i don't know you know how far it's gonna go but i know that it is you know it is my desire my passion to hopefully meet a group of people and they may be all around the globe that believe that like we can all support each other to be our highest good and like help other people that are going through really suffering to wake up and be like you can be happy wherever you are like and even if there's stuff going on really bad stuff like that's when support is needed the most that is when support is needed the most so if you feel like you're in one of those areas right now or you feel like you're in a space like reach out to somebody share that you need help share that you just need somebody to give you a positive vibe even just a positive vibe when you're in a bad space like it could just be a smile it could just be a shout out like it could be anything it could be enough to just take you to be like okay like i can move forward now because that's really what a lot of suffering is is being stuck in something and not feeling like there is any change that's happening like you may be stuck in a single moment and be like this is the only moment this is the only moment and like there's change constantly happening in every molecule every cell of our body every single thing that is happening in the universe right now change is the expression of of our universe of our universe so um I think it's amazing I think it's beautiful and I hope that there's other people out there that believe in global community that believe in global expression that believe in global change that believe in global awareness that even though they're suffering that we don't objectify and 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 we really show that there it can be compassion like even the people that are leading these revolts of suffering like there needs to be so much compassion like for everybody to realize like we need to all uplift each other. Like, who knows? I don't know how it will all change, but like, I know that if other people believe it will, and if I believe it will, and if enough people believe it will, then there's the possibility that it will. And I think that that's what keeps us moving forward on this planet. Otherwise, like, what's the point of being alive if you're not moving towards something that betters yourself? 
I mean, really, like, what, what, is it just, like, the survival instinct to be like, well, this is better than death? And it could be. It could feel like that. But the truth is, it's like, you have to dig deeper and be like, if you're in a space where you feel that hardship, like, what is your expression of freedom? Or how can you, how can you get to a point of freedom in yourself? How can, how can you be supported? How can somebody else support you? What is it that, could it just be a positive message? Could it be expression? What is it that can take you to that point where you feel like now you can move forward and maybe you are the healer of somebody else? You never even realize that your suffering is actually the equation for your highest level of healing to help somebody else around you.